March 21st, 2021. As you can see, the carport has started. It's been an interesting build. But anyway, there's metal ties at the bottom. That one's behind that last rafter, but and then it's actually metal screwed to the beams on four different lines. You see this line here? It's tied in with that. So there's beams behind there. So anyway, four of them. So it's pretty solid up against the garage here. The same thing. Got our ties. And then there's a double brace here. You see that? That joins those two outer pieces right there where those lines are. And then it re goes to the out. And then that last rafter will sit right on the inside of that right near the part line. And that on that end. And you can see that's where it will overhang. So that's the overhang. That'll be, you know, because we don't want to take away from our ability to turn in here. So, and at the future, I guess I could add some kind of curved concrete pour here, although I don't know if I'm going to. So anyway, that is where we're at. And of course, I've still got a few more braces to put up. And I had to stagger them so I have a place to put the screws. That's why they're staggered. Same on the inside. And so the metal overlaps will be on each one of these beams. And then I might put some braces on these center braces too across the center there. I'm not sure yet. I might do that just to stiffen it up a little bit. And then we're going to put some kind of railing here, decorative, because she's going to paint all this forest green the same color as this. So, uh, and that piece I don't no longer need it. It was just when we were setting that post a long time ago. I just haven't pulled it off yet. So anyway, that's where we're at. Let me show you the view from the house just so you can see how high the house is. So anyway, here is the view. So you can see that will be the peak line there. So it's pretty straight. Not too bad. And so anyway, kind of the uh, mirror gable, so to speak, of uh, what I got going on here with this original extension. Just to remind folks of that. That is also turned off of a square roof. I don't know if you can see it from this angle. But that's how I did that tie-in. So that's a little bit more complicated than this, but regardless, looks good. I don't know, looking at it, we may add two more posts. I think Leslie's right, it would look better. Yeah. That's what we're going to need to do. All right, plug for Grego, signing off.